Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this WebC Night Vision by Noculus with 1080p full HD and 1640 feet viewing range. The listing says superior 5 watts infrared, high sensitivity COMS sensor night goggles for hunting, camping and surveillance with 64GB card. They are listed for around $170. Sometimes you can even get a coupon to get it a little bit cheaper. Most of the reviews are pretty good. So I thought I'd give it a try. And now I'm going to show you what we get here. Here the version, I guess. That's the model VB007. Uh, sounds like James Bond. Here we have some of the features, yeah, 1080p, 2 megapixel for photos, superior night vision, high sensitivity, adjust screen brightness and you have a 300 meter uh, viewing distance, which means, yeah, now they are saying 900, 984 feet. In the listing they are talking about uh, double this amount. Let's see if we find something here in the specs. I'm trying to close a little bit up here what's also interesting like magnification some of these binoculars night binoculars they don't have any optical magnification just digital they have some combination of optical and digital zoom also an infrared zoom even we're going to find out what it's really worth one of the things with all these binoculars are that they are mainly designed for using it with double a batteries and they're using a lot like here we have eight batteries needed but alternatively you can use it with a power bank and that's what i'm going to do because i don't want to waste eight batteries but of course if you're out in the woods you are preferring probably normal disposable batteries and of course yeah they are saying you should remove the infrared lens cover while using in darkness otherwise it won't work they seem to even have a website but i think there's not much more here here we have some images but not much so what i'm going to do here in this video I take it out of the box if i can manage to do that it's pretty tight here I'm going to show you what we get uh, how to use and i'm going to show you footage from day and night i don't know if you can really use this also for day it doesn't have a lot of magnification but uh, of course during the night it could be a nice thing so I'm going to record a couple of things during the night and show you if this is really uh, worth the money. I mean, it's not very cheap. So we have high expectations here, some strap mounting things, towel to clean the lens or so. Then we have some cable that's a mini usb very outdated but a lot of cameras still are using this thing then something uh, to register or leave a comment probably so as always i'm going to show you the full manual because we never know how long this will be available on the website sometimes they close down or they remove it uh, that's the vb007 these are just a couple of pages yeah the writing is really small i hope you can still uh, see and read everything and hope it's focusing these are just a couple of pages here i think there's no numeration but I hope you can see that more or less when you go to 1080p highest resolution, put it on pause on every page. You should have uh, plenty of time to read everything here. Then we are already in the middle. Really thick paper. I've never seen that. But really small writing here. We can see everything a little bit better. Maybe it helps you to make a better buy decision or you both used or you just lost the instructions. We never know. So can always be helpful. I think we are close to the very end already. Here the specs again. So here we get an other cable that uh, looks like an audio cable. 
uh, probably if you have been recording some video and you want to play it directly on your TV so that's everything here so I removed the plastic yeah this is how it looks like uh, outside it looks like pretty sturdy it has some uh, soft rubber coating I would say uh, which makes it really uh, like it has a good grip uh, I can definitely not uh, complain about that and here we have probably the zooming here we have the battery compartment I just see four batteries yeah we have another ba uh, four batteries on this side so I'm trying to use just the power bank instead of this because uh, really a lot of batteries then we have some other things here probably focusing then we have four button zoom infrared uh, mode and then snap probably to record something and power on power off and we have some adapters here cable yeah the micro sd card like uh, 64 gigabytes i think that's already inserted if you don't want to transfer uh, through cable or so you can use this thing here yeah you can see that here 64 gigabytes not even a name on that no nothing absolute no name i uh, just hope that it's really 64 gigabytes and not just a fake so let's try to push it in again yeah was it upside down probably so let's try yeah, it was not too difficult yeah here we have the mini usb and here we have the audio as it looks okay i've been trying around a little bit with these binoculars unfortunately i have to record here is my gopro camera which is definitely not the best thing to use but i don't have anything else the battery inside my lg g5 which i'm usually using to record the uh, battery inflated and i couldn't remove uh yeah it got dangerously hot and uh yeah bulged and uh so it's uh it's crazy you can see that here uh i wanted to remove this thing it broke off i mean this is a separate part i wanted to remove i mean usually this is stuck into this thing broke off and now it's inside and i cannot use it anymore so the gopro is my only option so let's continue with this uh, review here i've been trying around a little bit with the uh, with the power bank of course i didn't have or i didn't want to waste eight batteries disposable batteries and uh, the thing for me actually if you want to have uh, already some uh, first recommendation from my side if this is good or makes sense to buy or not uh, I would say this is super cheap, dirt cheap plastic piece of junk. Uh, most of the things, most of the functions reminds me to like 20 years back and everything is flimsy and uh, yeah, um, at least most of it. But let's go into detail if you're still interested to see how something like that uh, can work and especially into this device. Uh, we have the buttons here, of course. Uh, yeah, zoom infrared mode snap, which also works for the menu turn on, turn off. Yeah, here in the front, we have the infrared to open during the night. We have this infrared zoom actually here, which doesn't do a lot. Here we have the focus uh, of the lens and yeah we have the battery we have the tripod these things i've already been showing so how did i connect the power bank so i was using this thing i don't know if this is intended for that maybe not but i've been using that so you can attach this thing here and uh, yeah i was using the original cable so i put this thing here and uh, secured it so it's a little bit difficult to secure it really tight and if it's not tight it could fall off it's yeah probably the worst size of battery i mean uh, i would make sure you use a small one when you're using a large one yeah it's even more difficult i think it's pretty much safe but still difficult to use this thing you cannot have this like in this position otherwise 
uh, it could fall off so you'll have it here and then it's difficult to manipulate here and also here adjust the uh, focus also we have to plug it in permanently on this side here it's not difficult to uh, attach but you have to uh, have this flap open and then how to hold this thing it's difficult really difficult to hold you have to hold it like this and also yeah i think i had it uh, uh other way around like this then it's uh, probably better so yeah do you have more space in this area so what's the big big problem i mean yeah you can turn it on right away okay. yeah here you can see it's already turned on i don't know why i mean we can turn it off here then it says bye bye we long press again and it's on this is what you see at the beginning take some time to have turn it on and you can see what happens now this thing was falling off yeah. yeah i didn't have it before of course it's more like when you have it turned down uh just yeah here in this case when i was recording but yeah usually when you have it straight it shouldn't happen but still it's not really secure here there should be something better if it's uh intended for this so make sure you put something around maybe a rubber band or so uh, so you prevent uh, this thing from falling down yeah so i have it here i think i can show you this better uh, in real life and flat so i point this thing towards the door handle i have to hold this thing here it's a little bit difficult so i'm trying to uh, point towards the door handle so you can see about how large this is this is somehow some magnification yeah i mean when you compare it to a normal camera then it looks like it's maybe zoomed uh, 10 times or so what's really difficult you have to adjust the focus here it's not out of focus you have to uh, do a lot you can see how much you can do and in some situations you have to really adjust a lot till it's focused now it's totally out of focus but you can see how long i have to turn the wheel till it's coming into focus hope you can see that and also i never had the impression that it was totally perfect in focus this is maybe the best which we can get so far i hope you can see that I, I really no clue what you can see the problem the big big problem here what i have this is a screen inside that's probably down there so the focus distance from your eyes when you're here here's a rubber band this is intended to hold towards your eyes and so the distance to the screen this is about I, I don't know five inches or so the problem when you're I mean when you're young like uh, in your child or teenager or so maybe 20 years old there's no problem to see uh, or to focus with your eyes such a short distance but when you're older like like when you're 30 or 40 50 60 70 years old it's impossible to focus uh, to a such short distance not even with reading glasses uh, it, it, it's impossible so now i have to use reading glasses and i have to hold it a, a little bit away from me to make sure that i can uh, focus uh, nicely on the screen inside i mean the screen inside is nice it's not bad what we also see that there is no stabilization i mean you can see how shaky this thing is there's no button or so for stabilization i mean we are in 2020 we should expect some kind of stabilization but it's not here what we have the infrared button yeah i'm not going to use that here doesn't help i mean you can see we have different levels you can see it on the top infrared four five six seven levels i heard the, the level six and seven i think you can only use when you have a power bank not with the batteries would be uh, too much power consumption i can show you really quickly the menu here the menu is the mode we click on here i think yeah now we are in the menu then we can use the buttons here on the left side up down to change a little bit around uh, can set date and time and adjust a couple 
of things here you can see that uh, yeah like time I could select this and then adjust the time yeah so I'm just going back here not doing anything here so what we have this zooming that's really important zooming yeah it was in the listing that there is some kind of optical zoom and some infrared zoom and some digital zoom the only thing which i have found is this zoom button here uh, when i click on it you can see something happening on the bottom right showing 1.07 this is like a 107 percent i can click and then it goes closer in a couple of steps you can see now we have two times magnification and then it goes up to three and that's it that is the maximum and it's totally shaky here and when i click again it goes back i think there is nothing here yeah now i'm in, in the mode i have to leave again i, I accidentally hit the button here there's really not much you can do i don't see any kind of real optical zooming here again here we have just the uh, focusing here and here we have the infrared uh, like zoom i mean that's more like a focus how uh, deep or how far you want to go with the infrared you can see that it doesn't have any effect here hope you can see that i'm going from left to right absolutely nothing it's, it's really heavy this thing uh, <laughs> i'm struggling with this thing here so I'm trying here a little bit with the infrared if possible. So we open this thing here and we can secure it here. So let's see if we can see something. This is uh, without the infrared. Now we have the infrared button. Let's click on that and you can see there is something. Uh, yeah, and now I have to adjust this thing here because it's just on the one side I don't know what the intention for that when I move this thing here to the left side it goes a little bit to the left and you can see uh, we have some kind of image here but it's really bad and I cannot do this to the whole left I don't know why the maximum when I have it here this is a, a little bit more than half of the screen that's it I mean we have some image here but it's also not really sharp hope you can see that we have something yeah now i have been working with the focus it's not bad it's black and white it's not bad yeah this is almost better than during the day uh yeah and zooming let's try with this zoom here uh, this is probably also what you will see during the night i don't even have to go outside yeah i will do that but you can see what we can do this is now we are on three times it's not bad but it's just shaky like crazy and why do we have only this thing on the right side i don't know i have really no clue it doesn't make uh, too much sense here to have the picture only on the right side on the left side you can see there's nothing and i cannot put it further down here uh, yeah, it's it's not just because of the battery. I mean the power bank. It's just there's no, nothing more I can do here. Just right, left, right, uh, left. Yeah, I'm trying to focus on the door uh, door handle. It's difficult to see everything in the, at the same time. But uh, yeah, for me, I don't know. It's not bad on the right side, but the left side totally lost space uh total yeah yeah there's a part of the camera or part of the display which you cannot use it's 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 a little bit strange it's it's really weird i don't know what's the intention but you at least you can see how this works during the night so i'm not going to show you this during the night like this i'm just going out and record something and then i will show you how this looks by the way of course you want to know how this works with recording yeah we have the mode button we have to put it into recording hope you can see that now we are in play mode now we are in the menu i have really no clue if you can see something now we are in the picture mode i can hit this thing to make a picture hope you can see that that's picture here uh, maybe we can make a picture from the door handle here you can see and now we with the mode we go into 
the uh, video mode here you can see the video mode and also starting here is this button here and we can see this red hope you can see the red dot in the middle it's blinking and we yeah i'm pointing now on the door handle and this is a recording and i can't have definitely add this thing to the video so i stop this thing here again on top yeah, i was playing around a little bit more with this thing to find out what the problem is of this thing which looks like a moon and i found out this is only the infrared light so you can see there is no problem even when we uh, work with that that's just the infrared this thing here and when we activate the infrared light i click here you can see then it shows infrared one and now you can this see this moon like thing this is only like this is the light this has nothing to do with the optics here on the camera this is just the infrared light and now you have it on two and three and four and, and and so on so you can see that's just the infrared light and i think it's just a problem when we are so close and i'm not 100 percent sure about that but yeah i hope you can see that i had the thing a little bit too high sorry for that so you can see this is just the light is the focus of the infrared light it's so strong it has nothing to do with the optics so uh, maybe when i'm pointing to f things far away then we won't have this problem maybe it's just a problem and we are so close like uh, indoor or so so uh, yeah i'll let you know how it turned out outside so I've been outside for a while and tried to catch some things with the video and this is the, about the best shot which I've been able to do. I mean you have to be really careful not to move around too much. You have to have some kind of uh, safe position or quiet position and then you can make pretty good shots. I mean as long as you're able to uh, hold this thing steady it's not bad you can see that i mean the distance here was our neighbor i think you cannot see anything no uh, plates or so the, the distance has been 180 feet i've been measuring this on google maps 180 feet which is uh, same as 55 meters so it's not a huge dis distance but it's also still quite some distance and you can see that the infrared illumination this 5 watts illumination has been easily reaching this distance which is really nice i mean when you uh, think about like infrared security cameras they have nowhere this power uh, not anywhere close when you have just this normal security cameras they cannot reach this distance so it's this five watts infrared power this is huge power this is the biggest surprise for me and you can see you have this moon you can focus with your infrared uh, a little bit stronger or wider this is what you can do so you can play around a little bit but the uh, real the big thing is you have to hold this really steady otherwise it's difficult to see anything but if you're holding this steady you have a good focus everything you can get pretty nice clear shots and see uh, details which you definitely wouldn't see during the night i mean this is almost uh, pitch dark or th this was pitch dark and nothing to see no way you could see something like that with your normal eyes or with your smartphone or so that's not going to happen you really need something like that to make shots like this i, I hold this uh, I, I try to go a little bit back let's say this thing here this is pretty nice you can see a lot of details i mean this was still definitely not a perfect focus but this, this is crazy you can see there's even some shade i think this is producing some shade so you can see the whole light is really coming from the infrared from this binoculars and not from anything else so what's my final conclusion here it's a little bit difficult to tell i mean if we would have some image optical image stabilization this would upgrade such a device 
heavily and also I would definitely love to have some uh, rechargeable batteries inside and maybe some better options to correct the focus if you're using like uh, glasses if you need glasses there, there are a couple of things which could be much better I don't know if it would bring up the price to like a, a value which nobody would be willing to pay maybe 500 600 dollars or so I don't know it's difficult to tell or give you a real recommendation on that I mean there is some usage of this it's not just like a piece of junk if you're using this for the first time inside you would think okay that's just a piece of rubbish that's garbage that's nonsense if you're outside in the woods and have some uh, steady view uh, holding this uh, don't shake too much you can get uh, pretty impressive images so it's up to you to decide uh, what to do if to buy or not but I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing of this product down into the description anyway so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time